So since I've started experimenting with different deco jars, they've all been made from bodies of water. With this project, I wanted to gather some soil and materials from the woods nearby. I also wanted to collect a small variety of animals including isopods, beetles, spiders, and really any other small critters we could find around the yard. So with this in mind, my bug hunting buddy and I gathered up our tools and supplies and we headed for the woods. The mosquitoes have been pretty bad this year. Thankfully today it was pretty breezy outside. I knew once we passed through the tree line that breeze wasn't going to offer us much protection. So I knew that we would have to be quick about it if we wanted to get out of here with any blood left. While having a look around, I noticed a beaver dam. So we picked a spot, brushed aside the leaves and sticks, and my bug hunting buddy got right to digging. I wish we could have spent a little bit more time picking a spot, but the pressure to get the job done and get out of there was just growing too great to handle. I really wanted to collect soil from different locations, but the cloud of mosquitoes around us was growing unbearable, and they weren't shy about getting into our mouths, noses, ears, and eyes. We had to collect the rest of the dirt off camera, and then we got the hell out of there. But you know what? It's all good because I've got plenty of great materials right around my own home. Right here, I have a chunk of wood from a log that used to be in my flower bed out front. I bet this will make a good home for some isopods. Let's put this with the other materials my bug hunting buddy has been collecting. Alright, this stuff is all great and will make an interesting little landscape but I bet we can find some more interesting stuff to include. I have no idea what this vine is, but it seems to grow all over the place around here, so it shouldn't be too shy about growing in my jar. So here we are, let's get started. Here's the jar, I got it at a department store for about $10. Here are some freshly washed rocks. And last but not least, I bought some activated carbon to hopefully serve as a natural filter and help keep things a little cleaner inside the ecosystem here. And here, we have the precious soil that my bug hunting buddy and I paid for in blood. Neat, huh? So I got some washed rocks here. I simply drilled holes in the bottom of the jug and rinsed them off really well. Now I'll be adding them to the bottom of the jar to create a drainage layer for excess moisture. Now for the activated carbon. Let's go ahead and add a generous layer of this stuff right on top of the rocks. I found this stuff at Myers, which is a local chain of big department stores for all you out of towners. It cost me $11.99 plus tax. I found it over by the pet supplies. Now for the soil. So let's go ahead and get this stuff nice and evenly spread out. I don't want to pack it down or anything like that, but I do want to break up any excessively large clumps. There we go. That's looking pretty good in my humble opinion. 
And who knows what seeds, spores, or even eggs might be hidden down in there. And here are all the materials we've collected for this jar so far. Here's some rainwater I've collected. I'll just go ahead and add that in. It's pretty warm today, so I'm just trying to keep the dirt from drying out. And now for a little moss. Who doesn't love moss? Here's a nice little wedge of pine wood. This side has interesting texture and I think a lot of animals will like hiding under here. Here we have a short section of an old dead tree limb. It even comes with its very own guard slug. Whoa boy, easy. I've already cut it down to size with my hatchet, so let's see how it fits. Nice. You know what? Let's add a little moss over here for balance just to be safe. So a quick Google search revealed this to be a Virginia creeper vine. I'm not planning on making this a sealed eco jar, so if later research reveals this to be a bad idea, I may remove it. But for now, let's see what happens. But what I am wanting to do here is to push the stem into the soil so it can root. And then I think it would be pretty neat to wrap the vine around this little log here a couple of times. Let's go ahead and add these acorns in. There you go, and there you go. Now the stone. Oops. Bump the log. Oh well, we'll just go with it. Let's add some leaf litter for the isopods. Isopods are considered to be macro decomposers, which means they like to eat nitrogen rich foods like plant detritus, roots, dead animal tissue, and stuff like that. Mm roots and dead animal tissue, huh? And now I'm kind of hungry. Here's a piece of tree bark and another one for the other side. All right, now moss, calm down. My bug hunting buddy has been flipping logs and rocks over and bringing me lots of interesting little animals. It's hot and sunny out, and I don't want these guys to dry out, so I'm just going to dump them right in. She told me she didn't want them to feel crowded, so she limited herself to two isopods per cup. She is very considerate like that. And don't worry, I do save and reuse all these little cups for other projects. They're very handy. All right. Let's see what we've got so far. Yeah, nice. Hell, I'm ready to move in. I could pitch a little tent right there on the moss and live among the roly polies. Anyways, it might be the blood loss and the itchy mosquito bites beginning to affect my brain, but I've decided to crown the whole thing off with a big patch of moss I found in the shade of a tree. My bug hunting buddy managed to capture this crazy little ground beetle. Wow, he's fast. And look here. We've got a little spider coming along with us. What's up, little guy? Welcome aboard. Well, I think it's complete. Let's take it to my workspace and have a closer look inside.
So, breaking news, my bug hunting buddy managed to capture an eastern parson spider in our living room. We've had a lot of these in the home this year, but they're pretty harmless and that's about as big as they get. But yeah, he's going in the jar. So right on. I'm pretty happy with the outcome of this project. My bug hunting buddy and I definitely had a great time outside putting everything together. I really think this eco jar will be interesting to observe over a long period of time. And I will definitely keep you all updated on it as it grows and develops. Or even if it doesn't, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. If anyone bothered to watch this entire video, I do deeply appreciate it. I really enjoy making these and I hope you found something enjoyable in them. So thanks for watching and I hope everybody's doing really well.